My name's Les Shockley and I've been racing jet cars for 35, 40 years. I've raced professionally for 50 years. You, you look at something like this and you go, wow, uh, this is something that's amazing. There's two of these vehicles, like you said, you have the Peterbilt and you got the Chevy truck. Are there any others out there that are sort of along the same line? Or? Yeah, there's actually a guy, Bob Motes, that built the very first truck in 79. We started running the Pete in 83. And Bob Motes built a single engine jet truck, and when I built the Peterbilt, it's got three jet engines on it. And this one being lighter weight, I put two jet engines on it so they'd have similar performance. We actually had so many dates, so many people wanted us with a Peterbilt, I couldn't run all the dates. I had some weekends, I had eight dates, one vehicle, so I went ahead and built this one ten years later. I got 28 years on the Peterbilt, 18 years on this one. What do you top out at as far as speed goes on uh, on this on this particular truck? I think right here at this racetrack two years ago I went 219 and a quarter, which is hauling tail for a truck. In a longer distance, at an airstrip where I ran it for a standing mile, I drove it uh, 401 and 406 miles an hour in a standing mile. The Peterbilt's also in the Guinness Book of Records, and I drove it uh, 376 and 381 miles an hour. And that's pretty fast for either one of them, but I think especially the Peterbilt was a lot harder to drive. About the last five or 600 feet, we were driving with the front wheels 12 to 18 inches off the ground. It was just kind of floating and touching once in a while, so I tried to adjust the steering, so next time it touched the runway, it kind of pitched it in the direction I was trying to go. This one has a tremendous amount of downforce on the front and the back, and it was a piece of cake. I, I could have done it a hundred times, I think, but twice was plenty in the Peterbilt. It's pretty spooky ride. The, the thrust that's actually generated by these is pretty close to what would send the space shuttle, it is from what that, I understand. That, that is true. Uh, the space shuttle is limited. It's, a, it's the highest performance vehicle ever went in space, but they limit the acceleration to three Gs, and I, I'll just take a second so everybody will understand this. When you hear them say throttle back, the reason they're throttling back is because the boosters are getting empty and it's getting lighter and acceleration is getting too high. So they throttle back and then after the boosters depart, then they throttle it back up to 105% or something. It keeps it under three Gs. Um, these things here, this thing weighs 5,000 pounds. It makes uh, 12,000 well, actually, a little bit over 13,000 pounds of thrust, so it's almost, it'll run almost 3 G's vertical, about the same as the space shuttle. That'll give you an idea just how much uh, backbone these things have got. They put those jets in airplanes for a reason. They're real reliable, and it's a smooth ride. And the same in there, it's a real smooth ride. Well, it sounds like it's something you enjoy and uh, keeps you going. It's literally a blast <laughs> for me. <laughs> and for the first time ever, IHRA's put a program together where I'll go out and make a single run, the other truck will make a single run, and Saturday and Sunday, side by side, 50,000 horsepower on the starting line, we'll blow this place to smithereens and race each other wheel to wheel down a quarter mile. So. Well, that should and be an interesting right. trip. I tell you, it's the hottest thing there is going. I've had this thing all the way from California back to here. It's the hottest thing going. People go absolutely crazy over it. Oh, looking forward to it. <laughs> thank you very much again, Les. Appreciate it. Okay, thank you. You bet.